All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR coming at you again with another video. Uh, so this video, uh, I'm going to give you my impressions for the Battlefield 2042 beta. So I played about, I would say, around 30 or more matches, which is, I'm not going to lie to you, it's kind of hard to do, given the fact that they only gave us one map and one mode to play. Uh, I wish there would have at least been two maps in, like, Rush and Conquest. They only gave us Conquest. I, I'm not even sure what the name of this map is. I still haven't learned it. Um, but it, I don't really feel like this is a real beta or a real test. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like a real beta, you have to have more than one one uh, map to really test out more than one mode. What We are testing a very small slice of this game. Of course, I'm not saying we should get, like, five maps or like uh, you know all the modes but like more than one map in one mode i like i don't really feel like this is necessarily uh, a, a beta or a a real test um and it, and it's it also makes it hard to give a real impressions of this game when that's all we have to work off of because there's a lot of things we could be learning if it, we at least had another mode in another map but Nonetheless, I'm going to give you my impressions and my thoughts based on what EA has given us in this beta. Um, so let me start out with what I like, because there's a lot of things I dislike. The things I dislike mainly have to do with bugs, issues that EA um, may already be aware of. And if they weren't, I'm sure a lot of people are reporting uh, the issues to them in the forums. Because, yes, this based on this alpha, well, based on this beta, this game needs a lot of improvements. Now, let me just put the disclaimer out there. EA has said that the version of the beta that we are playing is months old. That's what they claim. It's up to you if you want to believe that or not, right? Even if that's true, it doesn't necessarily give me the biggest vote of confidence um, with all the bugs and the issues that are still in this game, even if it's even if it's months old, right? It still makes you very cautious, very skeptical, very worried about how Battlefield 2042 will launch um, this November. Because remember, they delayed it from a month to a, a month from October to November. And the way I look at it, when developers delay a game for a month, I'm like. What can you really do in a month? I think if you can delay a game a month, what you are actually saying is you need three months, but you can't actually take three months, so you'll take a month. That's what I believe month delays really mean, right? Um, but let me get into what I like. I mean, what I like is pretty much the Battlefield formula. I mean, the Battlefield formula is tried and true. I've been playing Battlefield since bad the first Bad Company. Um, and I think what every person that loves Battlefield for is, you know, it's the chaos, the situational madness that happens in, in Battlefield. It's the randomness, right? Anytime you play a Battlefield match, it never feels like you're playing the same match because the same thing never happens because of all the working pieces that go into a Battlefield match. As far as the gunplay on the ground, the, uh, the, the, the aircrafts, um, the, the vehicles, um, all of those things, the abilities, just uh, the high player count, all of the, these things contribute to a, a, a varied experience every single time where you never feel like, oh, this is like this, the same thing that happened uh, last match. It's just very spontaneous, very random, uh, very sporadic, right? So that's the DNA of Battlefield. And of course, that's why I love Battlefield. Um, on top of other things I'm going to get into, right? So let me talk about the specialist for a second, right? So I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the specialist yet. And I lie to you not, I learned, I thought there were only going to be like four or five specialists in this game. I learned just yesterday that there are going to be 10 specialists in this game because I thought it was just going to be the same as other Battlefield games. You know, pretty much other Battlefield games, it's just four classes, medic, support, Sniper, Engineer, and that's usually it. Battle for Battlefield 2042, they're changing that. There's going to be 10 specialists at launch, apparently. Um, and they're, and, but I, as far as I understand, they're just going to be different versions of the same classes. Like, for example, they, they've announced that there's going to be two Engineers, but the two Engineers are going to have two different traits 
and um, specialties. So they're going to be different. They're going to play differently, but they're going to be within the same class. But in the beta, I've mostly been using Assault and Engineer. Uh, and they've given all of these engineers names so you can tell them apart since there's going to be multiple in each class. Like Webster McKay, he's the he's assault class and he has that grappling hook. I like the grappling hook because, you know, it, it attaches to surfaces and you can, you know, just pull yourself up to roof, rooftops faster and makes things more accessible. Um, I like the engineer because he has the sentry, um, the sentry uh, uh, ability. You can just put a sentry system down and it automatically spots and engages enemies and you know uh, it shoots shoots at them you can use it as a distraction you can use it defensively so i, I like the i like um the assault and engineer uh mainly for those things uh in battlefield games i never really play recon which is usually which is pretty much the sniper i don't mind i don't mind support though so assault support and engineer are the classes that i like playing but not usually recon um and the gunplay is great like battlefield has always had good gunplay um, I've been, you know, it, it just feels like it's always about gunplay first, and that's what I like in my multiplayer games. I don't like uh, when it's about abilities and all these other crutches and everything like that. I like it to be gunplay is the primary focus, and that's definitely the focus uh, in, in Battlefield. It, it always has been, right? It's, it's a staple along with, like, destruction, which uh, I'm going to get into... Um, when I get to the list of things I don't like. So, and I can move into that now because like all the things I like about Battlefield is is, is the DNA and, and, and how it plays and, and everything I pretty much said already, right? But the things that are bothering me about it are the, are the things that need to be improved and the bugs, right? So let me get into that. Um, so first of all, the destruction is not there. And like I said, it's hard to judge um, because we've only gotten one map. So... When, when when I shoot a, a launcher, whether it's a, like a grenade launcher at a, at a, at a building um, and there's not even a crack in the building, like it doesn't seem to be like the walls don't come down. And, and yes, once again, this could be because of the beta. Um, I don't know, but I'm judging it based on how it is now. The destruction just isn't all the way there, right? Um, and you need high level destruction um in battlefield not just like destruction that's uh you know the the, the pre um the predetermined destruction in set pieces and stuff like that um no you need actual destruction right and i still feel battlefield 3 i, th I still think battlefield 3 is the best bad battlefield um i still think battlefield 3 is the battlefield that did destruction the best and nothing has topped it since battlefield 3 and battlefield 1 are my favorite battlefields by the way um, so yeah, I, I hope destruction is improved, uh, in the final game and in the other maps when we finally get to play them. Cause I kid you not, right. Um, and this has to do with destruction and physics. I got into a gunfight with a guy, right. And in between us was a, was pretty much just a chain link fence. Mind you, this is a chain link fence. And if the physics are right, it has holes in it. So I should be able to shoot through it because of the holes. Even if it doesn't have holes, it's a freaking fence. Bullets penetrate fences, right? And me and the guy on the opposite team are literally shooting at each other through this chain link fence and we're literally not hitting each other. And it's so funny because we were like, yo, is this, is this real? We literally can't shoot each other through this fence. Like me and him came to like, a, 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 like a realization and an agreement like yo I'm, I'll, I'll just meet you on the outside of the fence we'll, we'll, we'll shoot it out there right it was so insane I'm like I, I can't believe like I mean in, in, in other games that have worse physics and worse destruction than Battlefield you can shoot through certain objects like things that are wooden things that aren't that aren't like hard metal and we couldn't even do it in, in this I'm like no that's that's unacceptable um, so the destruction the physics needs to be improved this, and by the way, there's a lot of things I'm not going to mention because I'm not going to remember everything I liked and disliked, and I'm not going to remember all the bugs I've run into. But yes, this this game, this beta is very, very buggy. And I'll say it's not like bugs that it's it's bugs that ruin the quality of life for the game. It's like a whole lot of little hiccups, a whole a whole lot of uh, small issues that mount up and when they come together it, it like really ruins the experience it's not like one big bug 
that makes the game unplayable. It's nothing like that. It's just a whole bunch of small things, right? So as I said, the physics and the destruction, you know, that needs to be improved. Um, because I remember in previous battlefields, like, for example, if you if you destroyed a rooftop and somebody was underneath it, that like the rubble would kill them. Yeah, that that, that happened. That that still happens in one. Uh, that's happened in three. I assumed it happened in four. I wasn't the biggest fan of Battlefield Four, and I didn't play much of five because you know five was five. But yeah, so that definitely uh, needs to still be there. Another thing is grenades. <laughs> the the visual feedback for grenades is horrible, meaning that when you throw a grenade, one, it's like you have no idea of like how far you threw it, where it landed, um, and even if it exploded. I've I've thrown I've tested this out. I've thrown grenades, right? And I'm like, did it explode? I, I can't visually I can't see it exploding, right? And I didn't throw it that that far. That could be a bug, but and then when I do see it explode, it's like this little tiny ex explosion. I'm like, bro, this is supposed to be a grenade. And the grenade animation is ass. Like when you throw it, it it's like this terrible grenade animation. When when it blows up, like uh, sound design wise, it doesn't really like seem to have much of an impact. Like I said, visually, you don't get that visual confirmation that your grenade um, exploded. And I don't know the, phys the, the physics of the grenade when you like, it, it feels like it's almost going too far. Like, you can't, you're not able to, like, if you needed to, like, pinpoint a grenade throw in this game, you wouldn't be able to exactly do it, right? If you needed to land it somewhere precise, you're like, you, it's kind of like, you're just like, uh, well, I'm just going to throw it down there somewhere, hope it hope it lands where I want. Like, it, it's hard to measure it. I'm going to need them to, you know actually improve those you know the grenades the visuals and and the dis and the damage and the destruction that it causes once again you throw it at a wall the grenade doesn't really do anything to the wall you know i've seen it land really close to enemies it you know damn near in somebody's back pocket doesn't do anything so damage to enemies damage to to the environment does nothing um there's a bunch of visual glitches of course um the the ones I've encountered, for example, is like the reload animation being stuck on my screen, even though my gun is fully reloaded. Um, random like flashes and my screen just randomly changing color for no reason, uh, falling into the map and objects colliding uh, into each other. Weird things like that. So there's a lot of visual hiccups, visual mistakes. Like I got on the elevator and every, every one of my teammates that was in the veil in the elevator with me just sank into the ground i think that's a pretty common one that everybody's getting right so they gotta they gotta fix a lot of the visual hiccups and things like that there's some audio problems um just there's, there's problems in in every sector of this game visually um gameplay audio all of, all of those um colors yeah um I've, I've had this issue where I've not been able to choose my specialist for some reason. Like I've, I've selected my specialist, but it when I click play and, and you know, I launch into the map, it's not the specialist I chose. Um, just to touch on the in-game plus system, the in-game plus system, for those of you who don't know, it's, it's the ability to change and uh, pretty much change your attachments and customize your weapon on the fly in game. In previous Battlefield games, you had to choose your loadout your attachments and all that um, at the at your at the screen prior to entering um, the actual game. Now you can do it on the fly. Uh, and the issue I've had with that is I'm not sure exactly how it's supposed to function. Um, so I don't know if it's a bug or not. But the issue of it, the issue I've had is when I change when I change the customization on my gun um, when I on certain weapons it'll save the attachments even after i die when i use other weapons it doesn't save the attachment i used it'll reset so i'm not sure how it's supposed to be because on certain weapons it resets um after i die on other weapons it saves i'm not sure how it's supposed to be but i would like to you know have a little bit of consistency here um reviving reviving in this game sucks now here's the thing Reviving has always been a pain point, a troublesome issue in Battlefield games. Also, all always, some people just don't want to revive even when they're playing 
what's been known as the medic class, right? And and peep and now they've made reviving harder because the because it's a longer animation to revive. You got to understand, people don't want to revive because I mean, some people are just dickheads, um, but other people don't want to take the chance because the animation is too long they'll get shot while doing it and honestly it's it's not very smart to revive um if it's likely that you're gonna get killed or the or the dude that you're gonna revive if you end up if you end up reviving him um and he just go and he just gets shot right back down and then you die with him it, it's pointless right so they should have created a revive system that encourages people to revive i think they should have made it somewhat easier than harder because the, the revive animation, it has a delay um, before you do it, and it has a delay after you do it. Like, after you actually perform the revive, it's like you're stuck in this state where you can't move for, like, a second. But that, you know, in Battlefield, <clears throat> that second is a very long time, right? That could mean life or death. Also, there's this issue where when you try to revive, because now reviving is pretty much a button prompt right as far as i understand it like hold e to revive right in, in other battlefields for example you can take out the the, the defibrillators and just and just uh once you have the defib defibrillators out you can just press the button um and revive a teammate now it's it's like it's a button prompt which is like e but also e is e is also to interact so I ha I've had the issue where I've tried to uh, revive an enemy, and what do I end up doing? I ended up I end up picking up their gun because it's the same button. That's a terrible. That's a terrible like you know, overlook. Like how how do you overlook that issue? That's that's bad. Like make reviving easier, fix that animation. No, like I said, nobody wants to revive in the first place. So you should make it easier, not harder. It shouldn't be an inconvenience. So, let me talk about the map. Once again, can't talk about, can't really talk about maps because we've, we've only gotten to play one map. But the issue I have with this one map, right, is some people have said it's that the map is too big even for the amount of players that are on it. I don't necessarily think it's, 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 it's the map being too big. I think it's the, it's the map design and the map flow. Good battlefield maps, and once again, I think Battlefield 1 and 3 have the best battlefield maps. Good map designs flow the enemies into each other, right? You create this, uh, you create this, th these pathways and these routes um, among the conquest points that will push the enemies in each other's direction. Battle, th this map seems like it's just like kind of random and and random open space it doesn't seem to have a, a a proper flow and formula to connect the opposite teams because battlefield like i hate to get you know get all uh philosophical but battlefield is like a dance it's like a dance of guns and destruction and if the if the map design doesn't help to coordinate and accommodate that dance it's just going to be a whole bunch of random fuckery of people running around with their with their heads cut off and all that stuff. So I don't think that that map flows very well. Um, once again, we got to see how the other maps are, but I'm I'm not necessarily I don't think this map sucks, but I don't think it's I don't I don't think it's one of the one of their better maps either. Um, the UI. Um, I feel like the UI, the kill XP notif and and the kill XP and the kill notifications are just not satisfying. Like in ba and I hate to keep complain comparing things to Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 1, but they did it the best. When you got kills in Battlefield 1 and 3 and it popped up on the kill feed, there was just something I think it, it might have been a visual thing that it felt satisfying. You really feel like you got that kill. A, a lot of things are about like satisfaction satisfaction and confirmation for the player. When you get a kill in the, in this Battlefield game, I don't know, it's just weak. It, it's it's weak. I don't know how to I don't know how how else to describe it, but it's like it doesn't feel like a kill confirmation. It, it feels like someone just whispered in your ear, right? That's how that's how I would uh, compare it to. Like somebody whispered, "Hey, 
hey, you got that kill. Like, no, like, no. When, when you get a notification for a kill, you want it to be very loud and in your face. You got this kill, right? Battle, this, ba the, the kill notification and the XP doesn't give you that feeling that you really accomplished that. A lot of this stuff is, is just like visual and um, it's, it's conditioning. It, a lot of this stuff is conditioning when it comes to game design. Um, and, and that's why you have a lot of, uh, you know, you, you have the phases where they bring a lot of testers in to play a lot of these games because the testers are supposed to tell you how, how it feels, right? Did, when, did, when you got that kill, did it, did it feel satisfying to you? Now, yes, just visually seeing that you killed a person is, is one thing. But seeing it in the kill feed, especially when you get multiple kills, is another thing. So they they need to work on that. It needs to be fixed. When you look at how the kill feed and the XP notification looked in Battlefield 3 and 1, it just looks way better. Um, gun, the guns are good. I, I like the guns, the few we have, but I, I'm just I just don't want to want them to be too homogenous, meaning like I, I one thing I hate about a lot of games, um, a lot of shooters, is I hate when guns feel, when a lot of guns like are so similar that you can use them all in the same manner. Like SMGs should should behave as SMGs, meaning that they should they should dominate close quarter situations. You should typically not be able to go go up against somebody with a with a you know with an assault rifle at mid-range and of course you know there are different things that go into that you know player skill and all that but overall a an assault rifle should, should always dominate an smg at at you know mid range mid to longer ranges and sometimes i've seen that's not always the case so i i i know they're going to do a lot of weapon tweaking so i i count on them 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 doing that um Performance is an issue. We, you know that's 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 an understatement. We know they gotta like really optimize and, and fix this game. I mean, I've I can't remember the last time I played a game at 1080p, but I've been playing this beta at 1080p just to make sure that it runs and I get my 120 frames. Um, you know, at 1440p, I'm not sure. I don't even remember what I was getting, but the performance needs to be improved. Uh, I wish there weren't bots in the game. Um, I listen. I'm I'm be real. I I would rather be man down. Right, I would rather be outnumbered than to have bots in the game because bots just serve no purpose. I, I hate having bots in the game. Um, the scoreboard, I don't know. I don't even like the way the scoreboard looks now. They've changed the scoreboard. Uh, I, I, I feel like they should change it back. Um, there's other things like stuck being getting stuck on ledges. That's kind of like a staple staple in Battlefield where you get just you try to climb on you try to climb on a ledge that's like knee high and for some reason you can't that's a weird little um thing with that's been with battlefield games uh, marking spotting um i don't know spotting seemed to be way more of a thing in previous battlefield games i don't really f see people spotting using the spotting feature as much and I, and I don't i don't know why i haven't used it either i don't I, but i don't know why i like in previous games i've always spot i always mark enemies and all that i don't know it just doesn't seem like this game it, it, it's like all that useful in this game so i never really like i don't know i just don't bother with it i don't know um those are my overall thoughts like i'm still looking forward to you know this game day one i'm gonna be live streaming i'm gonna be playing it day one it, it's gonna be my primary multiplayer game because it is fun um but there's a lot of things they need to fix i'm gonna be real with you i think this game will probably be uh, at its not not necessarily at its best phase, but at a phase where you're like, yeah, this is this is definitely ideal battlefield. Probably three months after it launches, probably like January, February, you know. And, and I expect them to release like a laundry list of patches like each month, probably. It it, I mean, and that's kind of normal. But like for this, it's definitely going to be a lot of patches, adjustments, and, and fixes. Um, so yeah, those are my um. Those are my impressions for Battlefield so far. Uh, like I said, there's a bunch of things I didn't mention, but there's just a lot of things out there. Uh, let me know what y'all think. If you're enjoying Battlefield, hit the like button, hit the notification bell uh, so you can know anytime I upload or, uh, or live stream. And uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter if you're not. Subscribe if you're not. 
And uh, yeah, hit that join button. Become a member of the channel. All right. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.